Good morning, everybody. All right, I've been trying to learn some tricks after yesterday's vlog with the cars on uh, what mode I should have actually been in. And see, this is not, it's still going off. It's not staying. Why is it doing this? Right there is where it should be. It doesn't look like it recenters, too. Okay, it spins back around. But it's supposed to keep it the horizontal, and they recommend this one for speed. So, because I kept getting too high, and when I did like the um, Leak 2, the Reservoir 2 up at Wiser, and it kept drifting up, this is the mode I should have been in, according to the online. And there is some gimbal speeds I can adjust as well so that it follows better. But, mm, Okay, I think it's working better now. I might have, I was goofing around with it, so I might have had it off. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, we are going to pick up the drone today from Jamie. Uh, it's going to be around quarter to two before he goes to work, which is really weird that he's working a Sunday. So, but it's a little bit cloudy outside. I don't know what, it's not supposed to be super warm today. I think mid-50s or low-50s for the temperature. So, right now we're on internal mics, which honestly... Yeah, I guess it's... Okay, yeah, the mic's right underneath the screen there, so the expansion pack doesn't cover it. And then I might switch back and forth and try a little bit some different things. I don't know what I want to use mic-wise for next weekend. I don't think I even told you guys. So next Sunday, um, Brian has invited me to come out to Port Royal with him. Um, we can't get in the infield. It's like $200 for credentials for press. So we're just going to be outside turn four there's a grandstand there if i decide because we'll have pit passes I'll go up in the grandstands and film from up there but i'm on the fence that's why i tested the iphone and the pocket yesterday the biggest problem with this guy is i couldn't see the screen at all and i'm really thinking about either making a lens or screen hood or buying one because they don't look like they're that hard to make in fact i should probably look online for a diy screen you know, screen hood and try to make it so I can see it better but uh, get the puppies out here in a little bit and then we're gonna go somewhere I don't know where yet <laughs> okay so active track does work in this mode I was trying to see what the best sports settings were for this and that was um there's not many people who have tried sports with it so no. and it was actually a DGI tutorial and on the different gimbal modes. So right now we are in tilt lock. So I don't know, but it is following me. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that's a tilt lock if it's uh, following me. I guess because it's in follow mode. Alright, I'm well, trying out my new jacket because it's not very nice outside. In fact, it looks like we might get rain again today <laughs> in the clouds, but well, we got to get moving. Jamie's going to try to get there about quarter of. Oh, we don't need AC on, that's for sure. But this jacket is lined, so I do have cool air blown in. <laughs> I don't know what all we're going to do. I have no, absolutely no plan here. Just picking up the drone. I didn't even bring the mini. I want to see if the damn thing will fly with the sensors even screwed up. It's kind of one thing I did want to try. Oh, man. Yeah, honestly, if we wouldn't have set a time, I probably wouldn't have been getting out of the house now because it's 25 after 1. Just totally lazy and bored. Oh, we'll see how this works. Right now, I still have it in tilt lock. Um, that might be interesting, too, for doing time lapse. I don't know if you can be in tilt lock for time lapse mode. Learned a few things, watched another video comparing the iPhone to the Pocket 3. And I agree with some of the stuff he says. Um I don't remember I didn't even look at the channel name to be honest with you. But in my I don't know past of using the iPhone for so long I don't agree with everybody's observations of the iPhone. <laughs> and some of the shots, especially with the sun, 
I think the iPhone does a better job of actually bringing it down and you get better colors and sunset. Uh, seems a little bit more washed out with the pocket. So, it's all in preference though. But yesterday, I, and I actually, when the video does finally release, because it still has three hours of processing to do, it gives you an idea how long it is. Uh, near the end at the uh, mall with the race cars, if you guys can give me your opinions on which camera you think worked better, but I think having this locked, and if I speed up the gimbal speed, it'll help for next Sunday. Did I even tell you where we were going? I know I said about I started to, but I don't even know if I finished my sentence. So next Sunday, weather pending, as always, uh, Brian's invited me to go to Port Royal. Yes, I did say because we have to be outside turn four. I've never been to that racetrack. The night before, the funny thing, I was looking at their website last night, and the night before that, the driver, when I was a kid, <clears throat> Lynn Paxton, is going to actually be there on Saturday night. I'm like, why can't he be there Sunday? <laughs> but it's the Lucas Oil uh, late models is what we're going to see. I think there's two divisions. So I don't know if it's the super lates. I'm like, that'd be really cool if Hunt the Front showed up. I'd really love to meet those guys. I haven't really kept up too much with them in the off season here. But they've really expanded their horizons now. They've got their own dirt series. They're really busy guys. I did catch a live stream with there i guess he's tech jesse is technically like the secondary driver now because i don't think um joseph is the main jesse runs and i don't think jonathan drives near as much he does like one-offs here and there but he used to be i think the main driver back in the day i'm not real familiar with how the <laughs> um their history so fun and I know the father raced I think he's finally retired completely now but yeah sounds like a fun time I'm just trying to figure out what the best course of action to film and you know like I said if push come to shove they do have grandstands for the for the uh, crews since we'll pit passes I'll be allowed to use them um, and I might just get myself up there uh, I don't know if the shift cam is going to be my best course of action if I want to be able to zoom consistently. I can have the, t the turn dial on the iPhone. I just, I, honestly, the right way to go would be a camcorder. I was looking on Best Buy's website and I'd have to drive like over two hours to even get one. And it's over $1,000. Right. If this was like the following weekend after my 401k came in, no big deal, but not for, uh, not right now. Rent's coming out here soon. Got other cell phone comes out. I got her Amazon card to pay. Yeah, things are things are due again. <laughs> I just want to check. I'm not going to adjust the level on this thing. I just want to see what it does when we go through this corner. If it still kind of tracks. It looks like it's looking over to the left a little bit or right a little bit. Let's bring it back over that way. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's centered up. I want to see what, what the difference is in tilt mode. Might have found a better better recording mode for me. I don't know. Because it goes out of whack on me a lot. And it really gets frustrating. Okay, so it still swings over that way. Not near as much. It's a pretty sharp turn here. Not really what I meant to do there, but I kind of got myself pinned and I had an idiot behind me. Okay. We can slow down from 75 now, thank you. Alrighty, we haven't been over at Indian Park in quite a while. I'm trying my DIY business card screen hood here. Where you at, Mateo? Here. Still trying out this mode. I think this is what we're going to film in all day long. Came over to see the geese and the ducks. 
and see what kind of uh, possible flood damage down around the under the tunnel there is because that's usually a good place for uh, high waters as well okay so with yeah there's no I can't really tell the difference honestly <laughs> don't these cloudy days this thing is just it's a challenge Really, Mateo? I don't have mics on either. <laughs> the audio test as well. That log is still in there from years and years now. And the ducks are making their way over to it. <laughs> oh, level's pretty high right now, I'm going to say. I'm going to swimming over. Yeah, this... Hmm. Especially tiny little objects like ducks, that one looks really old. Got like all white. Well. <laughs> Alright. The difficult tunnel test for lighting. Yeah, that's the one thing uh, that video was mentioning was, oh low light, you need to have special settings. Uh, do you? I'm still in 60 frames per second with this bitch. <laughs> Looks just fine to me. And I'm starting to see the other side now. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a very long tunnel and there's light from both ends. It's pretty big openings. But I think that worked out just fine. It's changed a little bit over here since the last time I've been. Here's the problem with coming over here to this particular location is it's, it's a good uh, from the parking lot half mile walk or better. So it's not always something I'm, don't get me wrong, I like to walk, but same token. Yeah, so this is when this is supposed to be the best for this particular mode. And it says for sports as well. Now, because it keeps it from tilting even though I did see it turn a little bit on the road, it didn't tilt. So it does work in that aspect. There's a lot of freaking debris and some really big freaking trees uprooted. But yeah, that's kind of, I think that's diverted even further away. It's moved a lot of rock in the area. This is one of those sections where um, okay guys, why can't we figure a way to get in here and clean this crap up so you're not causing more damages, but whatever. Thanks for a good swimming hole, but I never see anybody down here doing that. Because <laughs> you're off the main river, so it'd be calm, but right now that would be freaking cold! <laughs> Still some flow coming through over there. One time we came down here and we actually figured a way out into that section. Not over here per se, but on the other side there. A little further out. We managed to find our way over there. A lot of debris in this area. This is, jeez, tree just completely uprooted here. Not a lot of freaking river, or well, Creek rock. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty. Yeah, this is part of the loyal sock. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. This is loyal sock. This is the upper. Not much further up from the airport, but a couple miles. Cause this used to be my four-mile walk on my lunch. <laughs> a lot of debris back in here. You know, this this always gets hammered with these high waters. Stuff just gets washed up over this. I'm pretty sure the pathway goes underneath. Never even, well, because they have flood doors in the tunnel. 
So if it gets up, they close them. But there's the path that goes back through. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a little bit on the crappy side. Oh, what the hell? Wasn't my intention. Priya, where are you going? Not the direction we are. I don't know how far back we're going to be able to get before we get shut down. And there's a bug on my hand. He flew away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is very wet at one point. Very wet. Of course, now you're getting lower. Okay, I'll go to the left. That's your right, okay? Fine, we'll go whichever way you're going, dude. Jump the log, come on, you know how to jump a log. Yeah, you can get down here. Well, the one time I came down through here, it was, uh, this is gonna be a problem. Because they're gonna go underneath that log and I'm not gonna be able to. Exactly what's happening. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Uh, guys, I can't go underneath. All right, get them come back. Well, you're trying to go underneath. You can't go underneath, you dope. Eh, you piss the gimbal off enough, it will do what it's not supposed to. Yeah, water flow, bud. No? Okay. No. I see pathways. I'm just kind of following them. See where they head off to. And of course, Mateo's going to go on the wrong side of the path. Hmm. Whoa. It stepped down much further than I was expecting. Well, we can get over to the to that rock base. Not really in the mood for it today. There was an easier way, Mateo. There's a lot of debris there for me. Right. Ow. Made it back pretty quick because I figured the mic would have been off by now. I don't think you want to drink that, Mateo. Lane. Is it going to look up at him or not? Nope, it's not. <laughs> Stay level. <laughs> So that's where, yeah, no matter how much I move it, it just keeps it nice and level. So that's where the problem lies with trying to look around with this in this mode, but we make our way around the lake. And I do have a deal with McDonald's for a 29 cent quarter pounder. I'm really thinking about getting. <laughs> Maybe I picked her up a fish fillet. Yeah, it was really weird because when we hit the McDonald's past, um, really, I don't even know what, what that location was, to be honest with you. But they had a double chick or uh, fish filet. I tried to order it, tried to add it, couldn't even add an extra piece of fish to it. Which is really, really weird how stores have different menus. And something I never knew, but apparently people have started tracking it. Uh, Wendy's is the first one since they have the new digital boards they actually change prices throughout the day depending on how busy they are so if the store is really dead you could get a particular sandwich for say 99 cents if the store is slammed you're gonna pay 3.99 that's some bullshit <laughs> that should definitely be something that they should be uh, investigating price gouging because of demand but apparently it's the thing I did not know that what do you guys think? You like this jacket? I, it's comfortable. I'm warm. I'm not overheated though. Um, and it's flexible. Yeah, I think it's like a pleather. But and the, the nice thing is, I'm not big on hoods. The hood's actually unzippable. So at some point, it'll probably just come off. <laughs> so it's kind of a hooded one, but it's uh, unlike my uh, Columbia, the hood can be removed. Princess, show us the way back. 
It's going to be a little over a mile, I think. Ew, sour milk down there. Yuck. It does not look yummy at all. Yeah, basically, you have to just lower the camera to get down. And I don't think you can actually look up. Nope, I'm all the way back and it's still looking straight. <laughs> okay, well, that's good for, like I said, sport stuff. And there's the mode that I probably will never use, is FPV. I say that, but it does kind of follow Mateo pretty good. But if you, like, angle it, it can really mess you up. <laughs> That's interesting, actually. This thing does the spin shot and stuff, too, but never anything I would really be interested in using. And whoa, they have done a lot of uh, excavating over here. There was just, like, a simple little pathway. Now they've cut down and bulldozed a bunch of trees out. Interesting. Because that's like a concrete pad for a lot of that dirt sitting out there. And you're looking at the sky. Come on. Focus down. There you go. Yeah, that, see, that's, that's the problem I'm having. And I kind of like why I'm thinking the other mode might be better. Except when I want to look down, I can't. I'm so used to holding this thing though in such a way that me doing this type of maneuver is not really a thing. <laughs> it does eventually come back, right? Yeah, it takes a while. All right, back to traditional follow. So when you go sideways, it, it, it did kind of go off a little bit there. Uh, it just tells you that you're out of it, it's, it tries to keep your horizon. We're going to have to make our way around these big ass docks. These are the big ones. Keeping a close eye on the guard. <laughs> Alright, come here guys. We're not going to get too close. We're going to stay away from the big duckies. In fact, we're going to migrate all the way out here. Yeah, see, this this goes off kilter very fast. Hmm. Yeah. I guess it depends what you're doing. I don't think I'm gonna burn you guys through town. Oh, that's too high. Or did I zoom? I could jump too high. I mean, I'm not doing the whole thing, but <laughs> green light. Sling waves. <laughs> Terry and I talk about actually coming down and actually, you know, walking around down here sometime, but we never do it. And this empty parking lot over to my left it used to be for copy printing where I worked. <laughs> Hence it's now a parking lot. Speed limit is 25 miles an hour through here. Never knew that.
This is Millionaire's Row through here. I thought about this the other day, actually. This. I'm sure you're not getting a great look, but you're not going super fast either. <laughs> yeah, almost a seven. I'm cheating my challenge. Look at the pretty flowers. Thank <laughs> you. 